on plans and elevations at the moment and in the last video I showed you how I went about creating this plan in Illustrator a simple plan of a building. Now I'm going to work on creating two elevations to show you how I would go about creating elevations. I'm seeing that I've got an awful lot of guides there it's going to be quite confusing oh, let's delete my spacer quite confusing so I'm actually going to clear the guides and start again with my guides. Here's my plan that I made. An elevation is an external view of you know the outside of the building. I'm going to make an elevation showing these two windows so I'm going to spin the plan around holding shift and option or shift and alt to keep it pivoting on its central axis. To make, a, make an elevation I simply bring in a guide at every point that's going to show on that elevation. So here I have every point set out. Actually I'm missing two. I'm missing the, the hip line on the gable. That should be everything I need there to look at it this way. I'm going to have to perform one little calculation. We know that I'm going to say that the uh, height of the building is, well, let's make it a regular ceiling height, 2700. So let's go 2700 uh, divided by 50. I'm still working at a scale of 50 equals 54. So I'm going to make myself a rect rectangle, 54 high. I don't really know the length at the moment, so I don't really mind as long as it is 54 high. Let's position that in the right place. Position this end on the guide. Let's give it a black stroke and a fill of nothing. The stroke is far too thick. Let's come back to 0.5 of a point wide. Okay, my elevation's going to be in there. Now, if we want, we could start doing the roof. Just drawing a line across here. Uh, I don't know the height of the roof, but I do know that my roof gables run at 45 degrees. So I'm simply, no, I'm not going to do that. That's far too high. As I said, I don't know the pitch of the roof, but I'm just going to guesstimate now. Let's go around about 30 degrees will do me there. So I'm going to go up from the same direction letting the smart guide tell me when I'm in the right place and I've now created my roof form. Really all I've got left to do now is work on the windows that I need to show. My windows go floor to ceiling so I'm creating another rectangle here at the width because you can see it from the guides you can see that uh, I'm working directly under that. I need to copy this rectangle and I need to paste it in place so that I can make a window frame. So Command C or Control C and then Edit Paste in Place which is Shift Command V and I now have a copy of that. If I hold Shift Option, I can drag that in. Uh, actually, I'll do that slightly differently. I need to make this uh, a frame of 50 millimeters, which is actually one millimeter thick in scale of one to 50. So, what I need to do is bring this rectangle in two millimeters all the way around it. So I have a height of 
a width of 20.108 so I'm going to go 18 and I have a height of 54 so I'm going to go 52 I'm going to make sure that the center point is pressed and I've now brought that in so there's my window and its frame I'm going to group that and I'm just going to copy it into its new location that's all I need to do in my elevation we simply see this as a wall we don't see that indent behind there if my north was running up the page this would be the south elevation so that's how I go about making an elevation let me show you how to do another one let's make this elevation I simply spin the plan around put it in a new position I'm going to clear those guides again for you because it's still confusing clear the guides and I bring in a new set of guides and these guides show all of the points on this side I can simply copy uh, the main body of the house make it the right thickness this is a double line here so I need to show that there's a line where that wall is on that side lastly I need to bring in the roof so create some more guides I know that the roof comes into the center so let's create a guide for that I think I might use the pen tool click there click there click in the center point and back down again let's see so that is now going to be if north was this way that's my east no sorry that's my west elevation Oh, I span it around didn't I so if let me start again there whoops if my plan if my plan was located this way and north was up the page this would become the south elevation and this would become the east elevation so I hope I've shown you fairly simply how simple it is to make um, to make a window just one more thing if we were going to show these as opening windows what we would do if we wanted to show this as an opening window and it opens out from the bottom we need to get to the bottom point we need to put a pivot line in like this this line becomes quite a light line and it's dashed this indicates that the window opens up from the bottom if this had been a door I do the same thing here and this will again show how sorry about that this will then show me how the door swings so the line goes from the hinged side to the handle side we again bring that in as a fine dashed line this indicates that the door would open the hinges would be on the left and the door would open from the right use those on all doors and all windows in elevation including cupboard doors and kitchen joinery well, I hope that's been informative for you to find out how you can do elevations pretty simply and pretty quickly from a plan as long as you maintain the scale that you're working on and my scale was 1 to 50.